Hello, this is Benjamin John Pope. Um, this is a blog video for the subject skateboarding category. So I started skateboarding when I was about 13, 14. I got inspired by Tony Hawk's Pro Skater Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 1 for the PlayStation, the very first PlayStation, which was a 32-bit console, and I got really inspired by the endings, because the endings, when you complete the game with a character, like Andrew Reynolds, for example, it would show a little section of real skateboarding and I was like, God man, I don't believe they can do that sort of stuff on a skateboard. So I got into it and um, I started off skating an 8 inch deck. Um, my first ever deck was an element deck and I had Spitfire wheels and independent trucks. I then went on to start skating. 10.75 decks, Alien Workshop, Habitat, even Pop War, and Seek um, an Element. And now I skate an Element 7.75. Uh, I used to skate Tensor Trucks, the first ever truck without a kingpin that cannot break. So you can break your kingpin. If you break your kingpin, it's so much trouble getting it out of the truck base but I ended up skating 7.75 55 millimeter wheels Spitfire and trucks independent or tensor I skated non-stop every day it was dry from 9 in the morning to 9 at night I'd go home smoke a spliff watch skateboarding go to sleep wake up watch skateboarding, go out skating. And that was my routine, man, you know. I left school at 13 because my dad died of a stroke and I just skated, man. It, was, it saved my life at that point until I got into drugs, like heavy drugs, and um, I was taking ecstasy and cocaine, stuff like that. And I stopped skating, man. But you can see all of my skateboarding to date. And I'm going to get back out there. I'm definitely going to get back out there. It's 2020 now. I haven't skated properly and got warmed up, etc. And skated for like a whole day. Even skated for three hours. I haven't even skated for three hours, no longer than three hours. For a good... Uh, for a good 12 years. 23 now, so longer, about 15 years. Um, yeah, so I'm getting back on it. And if you want to view the skateboarding that I did in my lifetime, you can just go to my YouTube channel. You can just type in Ultra Team Productions. You can just type in Ultra Team Productions. And it should appear on the web search. Um, my inspirations were like Tony Hawk, obviously Tony Hawk, PJ Ladd, Andrew Reynolds, um, Kerry Getz, um, Brian Anderson, um, Tom Penny, obviously. Um, Blueprint team. You know, most of... Well, most of the flip team. Like Sebastian Salabanzi. Um, Jeff Rowley. All those people really inspired me to skateboard, you know. And I have a skateboarding playlist of all my favourite full-length 
and new short sections but full length old videos from the 90s man because that's when I started in the 90s and it's the level it's a the level that it's enhanced to is just crazy now man you see little little kids like doing like 360 flip 360s it's like that's crazy <coughs> crazy stuff yeah man so I'm from Penzance Cornwall and uh, Cornwall's got like it's surf and skateboarding scene you know and I watched Penzance grow and watched the skate parts grow in Penzance to all of Cornwall and we got new skate parks and it's going really well the new skate park is hopefully going to be built is in Red Roof which I'm hopefully going to be back to like a decent ability to go and mess around up there you know man get some footage down <coughs> so I advise you to watch my Jason Status remix and my full length scene in candlelight bio um, I need some decent tricks you know just like the well not really pro far from pro but it's fun to do it's not about getting money or free boards. It's about going out there and doing artwork, man, you know? Making the board fly and loving the feeling of it. That adrenaline rush that, you, that I used to get popping downstairs and stuff. It's just brilliant. I love skateboarding more than you'd ever know. It's the best, best sport in the world. You gotta go out there and try it, man. Thanks for listening.